So now part one, how to glitch art. There's a couple of angles you could come at this from. You can start a bug collection, stay alert, wait for glitches to happen, and catch them when they do via screenshot, photo, audio recorder, etc. A bit more on this later. Or you can instigate glitches yourself. There's a seemingly infinite number of ways to do this, but if we were to reduce it to their basic formula, it would read something like this. Take a familiar piece of technology and do something unfamiliar with it. If you prefer a more detailed example, the steps are as follows. First, copy a file. JPEG, MP3, MOV, OBJ, PPT, some familiar file format. Two, open that file with an application, preferably a familiar application, that wasn't programmed to work with that particular file type. You're likely to get an error along the lines of, sorry, unsupported file type, or, if you're lucky, some unusual interpretation of that file will present itself. Three, edit that file, given the tools of this particular application, then save it. Four, open the file in its default application, and be surprised. This specific process is known as data bending. I'll be referring to this throughout this essay, but I want to take a moment to demo this in practice. So I have here in this hypermedia essay an image. If I double click this image, it opens in its default application, in this case, an image viewer. But if I right mouse click the image, I get a context menu, which includes other options. If I choose to open this image in my audio player, the data is interpreted as audio rather than pixels. If I choose to open this image in my text editor, the data is interpreted as text characters, letters, and numbers. What's interesting about this rendition is that I can edit the text like I would any other text file, and I can save those changes, in effect manipulating the data. This causes the image viewer's interpretation of the data to glitch out, exposing some compression artifacts. So you can drag and drop a JPEG file from your own desktop onto this essay and try this out for yourself, or you can replicate this process on your own desktop with your own text editors. But what's important isn't these specific steps, but rather the fundamental idea I shared earlier. Take a familiar piece of technology, in this case, an image file, and do something unfamiliar with it, like opening it up in the wrong program and messing with it. That's glitch art in a nutshell, but it's worth articulating some of this a bit more. 